we'll get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here, and all of us. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods, or even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that. It's Thor. Thor, god of thunder. That's right. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur? An Aesir god, son of Odin and Free. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? I see rooms there, Miss Chess. Can't quite make it out. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it. That building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it and who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Look pretty big to me. Oh, good. I was hoping we might explore a little. When we wish to continue our journey, we know to return here.
long you think this has been here? A very long time. Not it. Pizza! Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. If I got something for you, too. Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. <sighs> what do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just Wait, to catch a whip. Are of we my talking to Brock? You watch. You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mount in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. I don't see us wanting that.
I'm ready. Hmm. I don't know these rooms. If we find a cipher, I bet I could figure it out. Exposed. We should search them for resources. We could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Boy. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map!
some statue. Who built it, is it? I do not know. So, know any good stories to pass the time? Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Yes, sir. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A... brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Here. Boy. Kvekia. Look here. Yes, sir. Kavakia. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well fought, you two. What is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Oh, he disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. What other stories have you got? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Boy. Kaveka. spirit. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the world serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. 
A wish you have just granted. Thank you. did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can we this just... This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. Well, what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Got another story? Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. That's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. Brazier? If you must. Boy, over here. Sir. Kavikia. Show me more focus. <laughs> well done, boys. What do you want? To thank you. These dead reavers drowned me many winters ago. And I've been itching to see them get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple. 
but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one, with tattoos. Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. We should look for more like this. Now where do we go from here? What's that? Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. What 
other stories have you got? There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief, and his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. <laughs>